Good morning my friends, welcome back to another day of working on the Jimny. As you can see today we have some nice sunny weather which is perfect because we want to get some painting done on the Jimny. Uh, but before that we have some fine details that we want to work on. So let me show you what we want to do before we start the painting. Alright guys, before we start the painting we want to work on some minor stuff here and there. For example, like I want to neaten up this jagged edge. I don't like how this looks. Uh, we have to drill some holes to mount this bumper here. We also have to neaten up the other side. Like this edge right here. We also have to neaten up this. So we have a few things to do on the chimney before we start painting. But to help with everything, I have a list here so I don't miss anything. So let's get started and jump right into it. Alright, so the first thing on the list is to cut the fender. Alright, so that is this fender right here. How's this here? To trim out this, neat. So we're going to trim out that now, but in order to do that, we have to remove back the fender liner, the flare, and the bumper. And then we could trim this neatly. Alright guys, as you can see, this is a lot neater now than how it was before. So moving on to the next step. Alright, so we finish cut the fender. So the next step is to drill the front bumper. So let me show you what that is. So what you're going to do here, because this could flop, is you're just going to drill a hole on the bumper. Drill two small holes on the body, right here. So you could just attach a zip tie. Now the reason why I'm just putting a zip tie here and I'm not putting a proper bumper mounting button here, right? Um, a quick release, yeah, a bumper quick release. Reason why is because we plan to do a front metal bumper to fabricate one soon. So it doesn't make sense I go through all of that just to remove it a couple of weeks down the line. Right, so this is just a quick temporary thing until we get the proper bumper. Alright guys, so it'll be like this, so this doesn't shake anymore. I didn't tighten it on yet, but yeah, it'll be like that. So time to do the next side.
All right, so we just finished this side too. City bumper, good mount, properly now. So we just drill the front bumper, so we finish it out. So next step is to drill the body and the fender for bolts. What that is, is we have to drill out these holes for the proper mounting hardware that we're going to be using to mount the flares. So we have to drill out these bigger and we also have to drill out these bigger. Alright guys, so let me show you the hardware that we're going to be using to mount the fenders. So we're going to be using these, um, this hardware called a rivet nut. Right? So it's a, it's a nut seat that you insert into the body of the van and you use a special tool, which is this, to insert it. So how it works is there's a little threaded tip there. You thread the rivet nut onto it. You place it into a hole like this. Alright, and then you compress it and you seal the rev nut onto the panel so it, it compresses at the back like that. Alright, so this is fixed onto the vehicle and then you can just drill a hole in your fender, your plastic fenders, take a bolt, in this case I'm using an Allen bolt, thread it into the fender and screw it onto the body just like that and that way you have your fender mounted onto the body and if you want you can remove this any amount of times that you want without damaging the threads so just like that so just like that, the two separated again. So that's what we're going to be using to mount the flares. So what we need to do is we need to drill a bigger hole onto the body of the car and then drill a bigger hole onto the fenders so we can mount this hardware properly. All right, guys, as you can see, the diameter of this rivet nut is 1764. So you're going to be using a 90 second drill bit to drill the hole to fit these. Nice boy. Yes. Yes. Poop. Poop. So we just finished drill all the holes on the body right around same thing on the other side so now it's to drill the holes on the panels so you're gonna do that now Alright guys, so we just finished drill all the holes in the pieces, so let's see what's next on the list. So we finish drill body fender for the bolts, next we have to sand all the cuts and all the holes. So what we're going to be doing is sanding all the edges, all the holes, sanding on everything, all the jagged edge on the whole van. And then we could prep for paint. See ya.
All right, so again, some trouble to sand underneath here. So we're gonna take out this back bumper because we had a paint inside here. So I was trying not to take it out, but I have to take it out. So we're gonna take out this and we're gonna put the car on four jack stand, take out the four wheels so we could get more room to work on the defenders. Alright, so it turns out I don't really need to remove the bumper. I just tie it up with some zip ties. This is the reason why I don't want to remove it because we have all these wires running inside and up to there. So if you had to remove that, we had to take out all these interior pieces to get to that to unclip it. So I just tie up the bumper there and I could still reach here to paint it on both sides. So we just sun and wipe down both sides so it's clean and ready to paint but before we paint we have to tape up parts that we don't want over spray on and then we could get to, to paint in. Alright guys, so we just tape up what we have to tape up underneath there. We have some tape on the side here, under there, and same thing on the other side. Alright guys, so we're going to be using this epoxy primer to hit everywhere that has raw metal. And then we're going to be using this bumper paint texture for under defenders. Now I'm not too worried with underneath here just because when we respray in the car we're gonna be spraying all four fenders with Raptor liner. So this is just temporary for now. So I'm not too concerned with how the quality of it, how it's gonna turn out or how long it's gonna last because when we respray in with Raptor liner we're gonna have to rip off all of those paints. Alright so let's hit everywhere that has raw metal with box primer. Alright guys, so we just spray all of the fenders that are the raw metal that we cut, right, on both sides. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some epoxy primer, semi-epoxy primer, we're going to spray it in this little container I have here. 
Then we're going to take the um, Q-tip, touch it in the paint, and we're going to go and paint all of the holes that we drill. So we just shoot the epoxy on every place that we cut and all the holes that we drill. You can see it there on the hole one. Same thing for the back, same thing on the other side. So now we're gonna shoot some black paint on the epoxy and right around the van again. Alright guys, I just finished with the painting. This is how it turned out. So this is the back. Really neat, really happy with that. This is how the front came out. Let me show you the other side. This is the other side here. And this is the back. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Really happy with how everything turned out. Um, tomorrow is just to assemble everything and we'd finish with this this part of the gymney. Alright, so if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, tell me what you think about defenders in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.